Uh, all right, we are recording. There we go. All right, everybody, good morning. I hope y'all are doing amazing. It is, when, I almost said Friday. Wow, it's Wednesday, um, 8 in the morning. We're just talking about how early it was, but I want to appreciate everybody. Thank you for all the episodes that you've been listening to. If you're on this episode, this is six, seven, this is like eight or nine, which is kind of crazy. Um, so this one is a really good one. Some of you know this person, some of you may not, um, but he is a person that I met through at the Y, and it's funny how many, a lot of people meet at the Y. Just like a, you know, regular dude, like awesome, energy is just amazing, clicked, um, working as a counselor, and I mean, that's just how, I mean, I knew him, and then I remember we were having our Leaders Club inductions in like October, and um, a little bit before that, I remember someone was like, oh my God, Devin's here, and I was like, yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's, he's right there, he's like, oh, like, do you not know about him? I was like, no, he's a pretty cool dude. He's like, oh, like he's like TikTok famous. And I was like, ah, I was like, okay, here we go. It's <laughs> like, okay. And then they showed me and I was like, oh, like he has, you know, you know, a couple million followers. And I was like, that's cool. And but I think to me, what really stood out is that night when we had the inductions, that for me, like completely like separate. Like when I used to, when I was younger, I used to do like martial arts and stuff like that. And you would meet like these crazy people. And I learned that like, if you treat them this way like you'll never at the end of the day they're just regular people and for you man it stood out like you came he came to the leaders club inductions when he hadn't even come to any of the meetings help set up help clean help like taking pictures and just helping doing all this stuff and like he didn't have to do it and just for me something those little things like really stick out to me so Devin, excited to have you um Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. So just, you know, who are you? Just go ahead and let me know. Like, you know, who are you? What are you doing? Like, what you been up to? Well, man, I'm just, I was about to say high school student, but this quarantine <laughs> got me graduated because I didn't even have to finish the rest of the year. But uh-huh. man, I just try to work every day, you know, grind it out. Like, let's say, I'm just trying to like, since I'm big on social media, mm-hmm. I just try to like keep pushing out videos every day, have to edit and then. Well, my schedule is very limited now since we're in quarantine. <laughs> so basically, it's just wake up, eat, work out, edit, play the video game. Uh-huh. That's basically all it's been for the last. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But yeah, other than that, I just try to grind out on TikTok, get deals, do all this, do all mm-hmm. that, make a few, make a few, make some money. Right. And yeah. Awesome, man. So let's be, we're gonna get into it right now and kind of everything that you've had, and I don't want to. And that's one thing that you and I kind of talk about, even though we were on social media, but we know doing things. But like, I don't want to downplay everything that you've done, but we're going to get to, because of course it's not easy. Like, you know what I mean? Like if, if it was easy, everybody was, w- w- would be doing that. So um, let's start in the beginning. Like, you know, where are you from? How was like life growing up and, and family? And, and then we'll transcend all the way to until now. Sounds good. Yeah. Well, I've been in North Carolina all the way around from like beginning to up to now because mm-hmm. I was born in Raleigh, uh-huh. and then I just lived, like, in a couple different, like, cities. I live in, uh, let's see, I lived in, I think, Durham? Mm-hmm. I went from Durham to, like, what was it? Yeah, yeah, Durham, then I went to uh, Raleigh, then I went to Wake Forest. Uh-huh. And that's, like, so I've been, I've been in North Carolina for a while, but, uh, like, growing up, it's been, like, I mean, I've been enjoying it because I've, I've been, like, I have two siblings, my brother and my sister, and then they always get on me and keep me on top of things, and then I have mom and dad, and then they always working hard trying to keep the family, trying to keep them up. My dad's a banker, so, you know, he's always working hard. He, like, goes far. He goes, like, maybe a few hours away to go to work oh, every day, wow. but, like, they all trying to make sure, they always try to make sure to have, like, extra money so we can go on vacation, so we can do all of this. Mm-hmm. So yeah, life life's been pretty good for me, and I'm very thankful for everything I got so far. That's awesome. So you think like, and I've noticed like even in your videos, there's always like a family like aspect, and like I, it's cool to see how like your parents are like not. Of course, they want the now, but they're thinking of like the future. So do you, you know, like kind of growing up, how was that when you were, um, you know, you're are you the you're the youngest out of your all your siblings. Yes. Ah, uh, so so we're the same. <laughs> so how's how is that, man? How's that growing up? You know, being the youngest of the siblings, and and then also like moving around as well too. I mean, it's been pretty good because you know people say people say the youngest child gets like everything, uh-huh. but like 
we get a lot of the hand-me-downs, you feel me? So like the clothes, clothes, I got a lot from my brother. Uh-huh. Or or like books and stuff for school. I got a lot from my sister, but um let's see. I forgot I was about to say something good. I just forgot it. Oh yeah. <laughs> How about like some some like memories you remember when you were growing up that just kind of like I don't know, like you know, you have those memories that you think about like, oh like how's your family like? And you're just like, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see. Well, my brother, I mean, since I've gotten older, my mm-hmm. brother said I used to be like that annoying little brother. Like, I th- I'll admit, I did used to be that annoying little brother. <laughs> I'd be like, Mom, you won't let me play the game. Uh-huh. What? <laughs> I'm trying to say stuff extra loud on the low so she'll hear me. But, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I got some pretty good memories. And like, you go on vacations, cruises, enjoy that. We were supposed to go on one this summer. Oh, but, snap, we're at. But right when this quarantine happened, we had one plan like around this time because it's like around the time hey. I'm graduating. Wow. Um, man, I had a whole bunch of plans for this summer because this is like the summer where I actually started blowing up and stuff. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. But, um, but yeah, life, life as the youngest has been all right. Mm-hmm. It's been pretty good, pretty good. It's been good. Oh, I remember what I was about to say. <laughs> but now... Since uh-huh. I'm the youngest, just gradu or just graduating from high school, mm-hmm. sister and brother both out of college. Just like my brother just graduated the same year I'm graduating. Wow. And my uh-huh. sister graduated like a few years ago. Uh-huh. So, so I'm, I'm gonna be the last one in college. Dang, so it's just kinda like that, um so it's it's usually like that switch. It's like, oh dang, I'm right about to be in there, psych, and then it just kinda like goes <laughs> yeah. away. Like, I'm all to know with elementary school. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So man, I I guess like do you, when you're growing up, like, did you have, like, what are some hobbies that you, because you had this, like, natural comfortability, like, you have this, like, I don't want to say, like, a, a vibe, like, when people, when you walk in, even before I knew everything that you were doing, like, when you walk in, you just have, like, a presence about you, where it's not, like, oh, Devin's here, like, everybody's straightened up, but it's more of just, like, a, like, a relaxation, like, when, like, when you walk in, it's, like, oh, like, I can easily just come up to this guy and talk to him, and I think we ended up talking for, like, about fashion and all this other stuff when you first met each other. But so when you were, when you were younger, did you do, oh my bad, sorry. When you were younger, did you do any like uh, sports? Cause I know you do some sports right now. It's like, did you do any sports um, and just kind of stuff to get you in that like social, social aspect? Uh, let's see. When I was younger, I started out with like Wake Forest Parks and Rec basketball. Uh-huh. And then I went to Wake Forest Parks and Rec baseball. Most people don't even know I played baseball. What? I didn't know that. Yeah, exactly. I was pretty good too. I was pretty good too, but once I got up the kid pitch, starting to get me a little edgy. They, 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 I'm like, they don't exactly. They don't connect with me. Exactly. But, uh, then from there, I went to middle school. Mm-hmm. Went to middle school. Um, I did track, basketball, mm-hmm. and then one year I even did football. Mm-hmm. And uh. How was that, like, yeah. going playing all those different sports? Because I know, like, track, you got to be going from, like, just endurance. Then you got to go basketball is, like, endurance and skill. Yeah, it was and a it, lot of diversity. Like, I mean, but I was already, like, pretty well, I guess you could say, trained or worked out for uh-huh. track. Because it was, like, immediately after basketball. Mm-hmm. But the only one was football, because I've never played football before in my life. <laughs> so that was, like, a little edgy. And I got a couple scrapes on the – got a couple uh-huh. scrapes. In. But, yeah, that, that's, that's not my sport. That's not my sport. <laughs> it took me like five, six years to learn how to throw football from Kenya, man. Because I, I just didn't understand the whole like you gotta like let it, let it roll off of you and everything like that. You see yeah. Tom Brady out here beaming him and everything like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, man. So okay, we've gone, we've gone like all right, so we, we're younger now. We've done basketball. We've done track. Um, were you always like, I don't want to say comfortable with yourself. Like, were you always comfortable with yourself when you were younger? Like knowing. I don't, I, I want to say confident, but in like a good way. You know what I mean? So like, were you always like that when you were when you were younger? Or is that something that you had to like learn? Like, did you get like picked on at all in in, in school when you were younger? Or how was that? Oh, um, when I was younger, like like a little bit, but not like not, not like much. enough to be like bullying and stuff. Just like like maybe some friendly friendly picking on, but then mm-hmm. it goes over the top a little bit, but not not too much. Gotcha. Not too much. Yeah. Gotcha. So was it like were you always like what led you to let's do this like what led you to starting 
social media? Like what was, I know like we're part of that like age where it's literally, first of all, if you're watching this and if you think social media is a fad, please to get that thought out your head. If you have a phone, and we're, we're about to get into this. If you have a phone, and he will tell you this because he's doing it way more. If you have a phone, you can literally do anything. Like you can literally create, there was a guy I saw who used to do those videos where it's like people cooking and he would dub over it. And then now he's on Ellen and he has his own like TV show. So it's crazy what can happen. So what, you know, so what, what got you started in social media? Like what was that push? What got me started? Mm -hmm. Cause this is what well, people want to know. I was already like, like, I'll be like, I was already on Instagram because, you know, like in middle school or so whenever you want to Instagram, you get that first and Snapchat nice. and all of that. So I was uh -huh. like, okay, this is pretty good. And I was like, oh, I'm getting the followers. So, you know, people, uh -huh. people in the area might know me. So like if I, if I blow up enough, people in like North Carolina or the area will know me. Right. But then uh, musically before it became TikTok came out, mm -hmm. my brother he, he was hopping on us. I was, he was like, hey, yo, Devin, come and hop on this app. I was like, okay, what do you do? He was like, you just make videos, like 15-second videos and post them. And then I was like, word, okay. Because that, nice. that was pretty fun. So and then me and my brother started doing that for fun. And then mm -hmm. and then he started blowing up. And, you know, I was already collabing with him. So mm -hmm. he's, he's like a big part of the reason, like, I'm blowing up. Like, he's a huge influence on my social media. Uh -huh. So, like, once he started blowing up, then people started coming over to my page. And then right. – I've been collabing with them for like five years because I've been musically was five years ago. Yeah. And then it just switched it like merged with TikTok. So mm -hmm. like I remember the first time I hit a hundred thousand. How was that, I was, man? Like, I was on a cruise recording with my brother when I hit a hundred thousand. It was uh -huh. crazy. <laughs> it was like it was like summer of two thousand like fifteen or sixteen. Dang. It was a while ago, but yeah, a big push was like mainly trying to get people like I would know more people in the local area and stuff. That was that was the main reason. Then my brother, he's a huge push. So okay, so your brother is is like an influence to you. So like, what do you? Your brother's a. I, I think I know, but is that a Trunks? Like no, nah, that's my no, cousin. that's your cousin. Oh, yeah. okay, gotcha. My bad, my bad. So yeah. like, what is the you know what are some things that you've learned from your brother apart from like from like jumping to the app? Like, what are some lessons that you that you've learned from him? Well, he's taught me. Or like as a in like as a general subject like editing uh -huh. like editing as a whole he's he's like he put so much time into it but I'm over here just like I, I like I'm just like I put some into it then I let it go but he's like he always tries to get it to the full potential right like, he's like this effect may add like an extra thirty k this might add this much more but um another big thing he told me is definitely is key. Cause like if you keep getting videos out, like if you keep cranking them out to the uh, viewers, mm -hmm. and then like they'll eventually, they'll eventually like go to a bigger audience if you keep cranking them out. Mm. Cause like the more I guess entertainment you produce, like it'll attract more people, obviously. And right. So yeah. So is that like consistency? Yeah, consistency. He's exactly. Out. And like when you uh, I, like, I want you to talk more about that because I know you probably get a lot of people. It's like, oh dang, Devin, you blew up fast. Like, oh. You're lucky, which is, I don't, I don't like when people say like, oh man, you're so lucky. So like what, you know, for people kind of watching, like why is consistency like so important, not only in, in social media, but just in anything that you do, you can't like just decide I'm going to do basketball. And then the next day you got Nike knocking at the door. So like, what do you, why do you think consistency is important? Well, consistency in life, like as a whole is the key to getting better at anything. Cause like the more you work on it, like you can't just like practice it, like go off a week, practice it again. It's, I guess it could be like working out. Like if you continue it, you'll definitely improve no matter what. Mm -hmm. And then like you'll always learn more things regardless, like the more you do it. Right. So that's that's a huge that's a huge key to life. Perfect, perfect, man. So um so now let's go back to that cruise. So like hundred K was that like because that's a big, I mean, 10K is a big number, 20, all those, but 100K, that's like a number that, like, t like just tell me, like, what was that feel? Because I can see it. I can see on you on you right now. How was that? That was that was a blast. Plus, I was on a cruise, so I was already enjoying my time. The first <laughs> I had 100K, I was like, oh, I was going crazy. Like, me and my, I think me and my brother had our own room, and then my parents were like, they are like a couple, because like on cruises, sometimes the rooms get paired up weird, so they got to be like, uh, weird sometimes, but uh -huh. we were in the room. I hit 100K. We were, we were both hype and stuff. We were just going crazy. Plus, so we were just enjoying our time that vacation. That was crazy. 
That was a real yeah. good vacation. That's all. So did that like, did you, there's a, there's, I remember I was talking to kind of someone where it's like talking about like characters, like, you know, you're different. Of course, like you still want to remain the person that you are, like being humble, but like, you probably know it's like, you got to change the difference from you getting from a hundred K to a million. You had to become two different people. Like, you know what I mean? Like that's another like mindset that you got to start thinking about. So it's like, I think what was after a hundred K, what did you kind of think about? Like, okay, was that, was that to you? Like now you, you thought about this, like, all right, let me put all my chips in this. Like, let me, let me go 10 times harder. So like, what, what'd you do from then on to change to where you are right now? I definitely harder because I wasn't like all in on tape or, or musically at the time, I wasn't like all in on it when I first hit 100K. Cause I was uh-huh. like, I was like, okay, I got some, I got some clout in this. I got some clout on my account now. So like, right. you know, I should just like post every now and then. Now I was like, I need to post more and then I need to learn to edit. And then my brother, he would throw some tips in. So like, I'll learn from him in the process. But yeah, I had to take it full on after that. Cause, um, <laughs> cause I, my brother, he like, he helped me a lot. So like when I was at 100K, he was already like, like million or so, so it was, oh, I, knew, I knew this could like, this could like possibly change my life. So that was like life, a life changing type thing. It's crazy uh-huh. to think like a little social media app could change your whole entire life. Exactly. But, but like, yeah. So what was it, after 100K? That was it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like after 100K, like, like how did that? Like you, you kind of said it. Like how that's when you kind of thought about it. Like man, like life is kind of changing. Like what you start doing a little bit differently because you know like you play sports as well too so you know how like when you got to go practice and someone says yo Devin let's come let's you know let's go and hang out like there's a girl who came out the pop she's coming out today on her podcast she dances and she's going to Arizona State she's so good she's like she going she does uh dancing in LA and she travels everywhere because she graduated uh Ashley Brackett so she oh, yeah. We, yeah so we were just talking like there was a point where she kind of not separate herself but like she kind of look how to look at her friends, like say, okay, if I want to get to here, like there's certain things I got to do. So like for you, did you have to do that? Like what are some things you had to like let go or things that you had to start doing so you can get to that next level? Well, I used to like, when I was younger, like mm-hmm. I guess like freshman year, or, yeah, freshman year, mm-hmm. like I used to always hang out with friends. I'll be up the house as much as possible, <laughs> but like, but now I can see like as, it, as the years are building up, like I'm just staying to myself more, staying inside the house and then mm-hmm. like constantly, I'm trying to get videos stocked up and then as I get emails from companies, Mm -hmm. I try to like take in as many deals as possible so I can make some, so I can make bread and continue doing videos and getting stuff for the public. Mm -hmm. So yeah, some sacrifices had to be made, like the amount of time management really. Exactly. I had to like cut off some outside activity and then like not hang out with people as much. So yeah. So I guess I lost some friends in that process, but it was it was for a positive, it was for a benefit. So. Right. How does that make you feel, though? Because I know that's, for some people, when they hear that, they don't understand it. But, like, for athletes or people who kind of want to get that next level, I feel like people don't understand, like, how hard it is to for you to do that. Oh, uh, well, it, like, sucks to lose them because it's, like, like, I used to have a good time hanging out with them and stuff. But, like, my circle got smaller. I've gotten them. I got people in my circle who I – does like around the same stuff as me like I had to change my time to to social media and sports because Mm -hmm. like it's hard to maintain both it's hard Mm -hmm. to like continue to go hard on it and maintain both of it Mm -hmm. like all at the same time but like but I realized people that like people that were on my team like I did track so I got a couple people that were on my team that's like in my circle Mm -hmm. but um but yeah it was was hard to maintain it was hard to maintain because you had practice every single day, but you had to maintain social media every single day. Yeah. Like, that's that's when my brother was a big help, because he would help me, like, set up stuff and, like, record stuff. So. Uh-huh. But, that's yeah. Awesome. So, um, yeah. so, I guess, like, for a video, do you have, like, what are some, what are some, some of your, like, when you're creating a video, right? Like, what's, like, I know everything is different because it's it's every person's different at the end of the day, right? So what are what are just like some some five six steps that you always like go through when you're creating? Like you don't have to give us the, the secret. I don't I don't you don't, you don't have to leak the secrets. You know what I mean? Exactly, no sauce now. But uh, you know they 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 can DM me for all that. But what are just some like steps that you usually think about when you're creating a video? Because at the end of the day, it's like you're creating something for people to like love, right? So like, what are some things you usually go through at your head? Do you like plan? Do you 
you just pick up a camera, you just go. So, like, how do you explain that to people? Well, sometimes I'm, like, trying to <laughs> do, like, a full plan skit. Mm-hmm. Then they'll take, like, it'll take previous planning. Like, my brother, uh-huh. like, I don't I do not do, like, planned out as much as my brother does. Because my brother, he's, he's going crazy on social media right now. Because, <laughs> like, he has YouTube, he has a whole YouTube video. He makes parodies and stuff of, like, songs that have blown up recently. He has a whole uh-huh. entire video to it. Wow. Yeah, he, like, he plans that, like, maybe a week ahead. Dang. So like he's on he's on top of his stuff, but me like I plan stuff every now and then because like it's like I just follow the hashtags because I'm still in, or well I'm getting out of high school now so like right. I was still in high school you know just enjoying my time but mm-hmm. but uh but yeah when I do it on the app they have like hashtags mm-hmm. and specific things but my main goal is just like make it entertaining I guess to the audience like try right. to pull them in and then you know have the thumbnail uh-huh. have the thumbnail like something crazy so like you know what is that exactly like, well, let's, let's, let's check it out though uh-huh. but yeah i tried to get them to check it out like i think one of my recent ones or a while ago like my friend trunks you know like how he, he how he be as a mom sometimes Mama yes trunks. yes like i had one where i forgot where like i was an evil dude because i had i had on black air forces uh-huh and then, like I was like a whole different dude, but yeah, because like since Black Air Force was a big trend and people knew they're like, oh, that's like criminal. Oh. That's evil stuff. Do you not know that? No, I didn't know. So, oh, what? I keep going. Hey, keep going. I like this. <laughs> okay, so I'm like, I'm like an evil figure. Uh-huh. And it was like, I guess Mama Trunks is the hero, but like I was just doing evil stuff. Like, I was picking on my brother and stuff. Uh-huh. He, he threw a croc because like, I'm a chunk so I'm like throwing crocs knocking out people. She exactly. threw it. I wasn't mm-hmm. even looking. I said, boom. I caught that chunk. And it was like an action movie. I was like, what? that chunk was crazy. But yeah. Dang, I forgot the question. I was. No, nah, <laughs> look, dang, that's all awesome. Hey, because I look, mama, I can relate to that. Man, we were, I remember it was one time we were in, uh, I'm from Kenya. So my mom, African moms, there's no such thing. I feel like your mom too. There's no such thing as no. Like, no doesn't even exist. Oh, yeah. Like, I remember one day we were eating. And I think somebody didn't do dishes or something like that. And like, I've never had a shoe thrown at me so fast. Like, I didn't even, <laughs> like, 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 literally, she was like, why didn't you do, the, oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't, what is it called? I didn't do the dishes and like do all this other stuff. So I was like, oh, like, I did, like, before I even said it, mom, she already took the shoe out and chucked it at me. And I'm like, exa- like, I'm literally looking at the shoe right here and I'm like, oh, dang. <laughs> so, exactly. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, bro, how'd you do that so fast? So it was at like this moment. Hey, hey, I'm telling you, African moms, or there was, okay, there was, there was one time. This is one fifth grade. Uh, it was fifth grade just ended. Like, it's literally like right now, fifth grade just ended, just the exam. So like next week, summer, uh, summer was starting, right? So we were, um, back then I used to have, collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I, used, I had crazy, like, Two thousand dollars, three thousand dollars value with the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and I was borrowing my friend's PS2 at the moment. Um, so we were talking about something because I wanted to sleep over at a friend's house, and she's like, "No, da 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 da," and I'm like, "Why?" She's like, "No." As she's walking away, I was like, "I hate you, mom," and she was like this. She was like this, and in my head, I was like, "Oh," and she turned and she she says, "Oh, you hit me." Oh, the mother who backed you in like two minutes slapped me, burned my Yu Gi Oh cards, she cut my friend's PS2 cord. I had to buy him a new one. I was and then grounded for the whole summer. I've never received a combo that fast in my life. Like, I literally sat there and I was like, KO, <laughs> but um, exactly, but yeah, man. So it's like, it's cool to hear that the way when you do your like, because that's another thing, like, I when you meet like older people. They're like, oh, one of these videos or whatever, but I feel like they don't understand. Like, it's not just you. I mean, of course, yes, there's sometimes where like you think about something, but you do it. But there's like literally you're creating a story, and that's crazy how you literally start off the shoes. So then people are like, oh, Air Forces, and then they go from there. Exactly. Um, so, like, what have you, was there, when's the moment like when you started getting, um, you don't have to go into like numbers or stuff like that, but when's the moment when you started getting like some companies reaching out to you and you're like, oh, like this isn't like a hobby. Like how did that kind of feel like and and like um, what did you have to do pretty much? Well, like, well, when I was around like, I guess, I guess like early like 500K or stuff, it would be like, it would be like artists, like I guess artists that weren't really well known, they'd be like, hey bro, how much, how much does it cost to make a video? 
to like to my music or something and like tag me or whatnot. Mm-hmm. So that that was happening like I guess like all the way up. That was happening for a pretty good amount. But then like once I hit like seven hundred K to a million, mm-hmm. they started like apps apps started reaching out and they were like, Okay, so this dude he's getting some attention, so you know, mm-hmm. if we if we do a paid collaboration and we could get some users come to our app and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then when I tell you, I was surprised when I saw like Fashion Nova sent me an email. I was like, "What's that? What?" Because they, they, yeah, they they got me the hookup. They yeah. they got me the hookup because they sent in, they sent in, they like select some clothes. We'll send them for free and then make wow. videos with them and tag us and whatnot. And then we'll give you a paycheck and just do a certain amount. So I had to do like a set amount of videos, you know. Yeah. And they would pay me because they they already sent me the clothes. They would pay me just to wear their clothes in the videos and like tag them and. Like put stuff in the bio, so yeah. So yeah, that's around like what I had to do. It was it was crazy when I saw their email. Right, that's crazy. Have you ever? There's this Jay Z quote that he always says is like, uh, "I'm not a businessman. I'm a business man." Oh so, yeah. Yeah. So it, it's cool. Like I, people don't realize, it, man. Like influencers, you're not just influencing. Like you are a business. Like you're 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 a business because I mean, look at Kylie Jenner. Kylie hey. Jenner because of her personal, no matter what people say, oh, because they're, it doesn't matter anything about family, women still put in work. Because of her personal brand, she built a billion dollar company like that, mm-hmm. like bossing up, like that's crazy. Um, so let's, you know, that's, we've done the deals and stuff like that. Now let's, I want to talk about like, um, what are the obstacles you've had to come, you know, come around? I know you're, you're, we live, I guess we live in a time, especially, you know, living in the South and everything, but being the kind of people we are, it's like, what are some obstacles that you've got to come around on social media, off social media, and off social media? Oh, uh, let's see. Off social media, it's just kind of hard to deal with goals now since we're in quarantine and stuff. Nice. But, like, I guess just stay, staying on a consistent schedule, like I was talking about earlier, that's, mm-hmm. that's like, the main, like, that's like consistency is obstacle uh, obstacle itself because mm-hmm. like because you got to put in the time and work to like continuously do stuff and have like a set schedule like me right now mm-hmm. just just in during quarantine I don't have a set schedule or nothing I'm just like as, as long as I can work out in this day uh-huh. and as long as I can like get get a video out or like or work on something and just not instead of sitting in front of the video game all day then then mm-hmm. that's a plus but I say like outside of it outside of social media or I mean outside of the quarantine mm-hmm. it'll probably be like because well my parent or my my dad he's like he's like you need to get a job and stuff I'm like or mm-hmm. well I understand where he's coming from because you know TikTok might not last forever because it might be like it might be on and get shut down mm-hmm. so he's like you, you might need to get a job so that's when I was working at the Y but like right. That was, I think it was during, like, track season, but then, like, later on, since I started, like, improving, then mm-hmm. I've, I've gotten to leave it, leave the Y, sadly, because I enjoy mm-hmm. the people there and stuff, but, but daily obstacles, Yeah. right now, I'd say a big one is just consistency, and, like, knowing what to do with my time, mm-hmm. and then on social media, on social media, since I do, like, mainly comedy and stuff, mm-hmm. like, I can venture outside of, outside of the, uh, genre I guess that I like make videos for but like I have to make a loop around and come back to it because that's my main thing and that's what people follow me for mm. but like every now and then I'll do like I'll hop on a dance trend I'll do some dances or I'll hop on like a different type of trend mm-hmm. but but I gotta loop it all I, or I don't have to loop it to comedy but after like dropping those videos I have to come back to comedy since people know like they know me for that and right. then another time I'll just editing so yeah you gotta time to manage time into editing and all of that stuff. Gotcha, man. That's that's good to hear. And that's I, I feel like that's one thing too. Like I know for some people it's kind of tough to like to, uh, sorry tough to talk about. But I always want to like people so they can hear that because like you know, of course it's not all like sunshines and rainbows and you're doing stuff. But when people need to hear, it's like a it's like it's like a weird balance. Like you don't want to always saying life is my my life is hard my life is hard. But then it's like my life is great because then you always got to have that like balance of showing people like hey man like I woke up today play video games for five hours <laughs> so it's like it's okay you may think it's the life but in my head i was like i need to do something <laughs> exactly yeah you're getting these these war zone dubs and you're like dang that should have been a video <laughs> um so so i think oh yes 
recently you went to you had a big um where did you go to you had a big event that you went to la yes LA. and LA. first of all i saw that 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 suit that was tough so man tell us tell us i can already see it man just tell us because i remember seeing the pictures i even saw some like heavy hitter celebrities who were there so like that that i mean for, I'm, again it, it wasn't even me but for me like being able to see that i was like I think I like DMG. I was like, bro, don't stop. <laughs> just take, exactly. like, keep going. Keep going up. Have to keep going. Yeah. So, like, how, man, just tell us now. Like, how was that experience? How was that everything? That, that was my first event ever. So, you know that, that like, absolutely blew my mind out of the water. I right. was like, yo, because we went to a whole bunch of events. And then, like, I already fought, like, a whole bunch of people that I met there. Like, they brought other, it was a Black History Month event. So, they brought a whole bunch of, like, african-american creators uh -huh. and then, like half of them already knew and like i followed like i'm not sure if you know who zay hd and ceo is but they're like they're like rappers and stuff mm -hmm. like they were there because they just recently hopped on tiktok so i got to meet them and make videos with them and they're uh, like they're like rappers that are actually blowing up too and yeah. then a big one is king vader I met King yep. Vader there. What? Oh, <laughs> like King Vader, I grow, I grew up watching his videos. Yes. I'm like, yo, I'm actually here with King Vader in real life. He has the whole like, oh, uh, King Vader has the best. Exactly. Yes. And I, I met like a whole bunch of people just like me that make videos uh, and just enjoy like TikTok and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I got to meet Nick Cannon, Terry Crews, Tracy Ellis Ross, and then a whole bunch of other like. A whole bunch Dang. of other celebrities. That was crazy. That was like, yeah, that was insane. And then TikTok, they like, them themselves. Right. They like, they gave, they blessed every single creator with their own room and their own, like, their own, I guess, like, box with, like, uh -huh. full of goodies and stuff. Like, they gave us, wow. they gave us free Pumas, free Beats. Uh, They gave us, they gave, or well, they're sponsored by, like, they're sponsored by Puma Beats and Fenty because it's like a makeup. Right, yeah, yeah. They, they hooked us up and gave us like a whole bunch of stuff. It was right. great. And then yeah. I just enjoyed the time with the people I met. And then my brother and cousin were there too. Mm -hmm. so it was just like my first time in LA, my first event for TikTok. Mm -hmm. That was, that it's was kinda like, It's kind of like going to the draft. Mm -hmm. So yeah, man, like, so, you know, like, you know, you do the videos every single time. You probably have a video that you think is going to hit and then it's, and then you have a video that you know it's you know it's you know, it's like yeah it's gonna be okay, but then it hits. So it's like there's you talk we we've talked about consistency the entire time, like being consistent. So like how did that feel like doing you know, you do those things every you just said it, you do those things every day and you may not get that reaction. Like right now you may be you you've been working out, I've been working out, so like I've been working out and it's like and we think like, man, like right now you're not getting those like immediate results, but it's just kind of like compounding, compounding. So how did that feel just to kind of be somewhere and you're like, wow, this event, of course there's other people, but like these people are here congratulating me. Um, how did that feel like? Exactly. like that, that itself, just to like, that itself was like crazy to me just thinking it's like, wow, I'm really doing this. I'm actually social media famous. Like I'm actually like blowing up right now. Like right. It, actually, it like had me like speechless, uh -huh. but I don't, I don't even know. I just can't even put it into words. It was just crazy. Because, like, yeah. meeting all these people just based off my success on the app, I was like, right. you know, I'm here with some big-time celebrities, meeting them and stuff, because they're coming here for, like, me or us right. as, a, as a whole, just, like, just going hard on social media. So it's like, mm -hmm. that's crazy, because I'm trying to get to the point, you know, you know who Charlie D'Amelio is? Yes. Yeah, the one that's blowing up, she's going to the Super Bowl, did, like, yes. commercial. I just saw Justin Bieber just like slid in her DMs or something like that. Exactly. She is like, she is just blowing up. She is like super successful. I'm trying to get to that point though. I'm trying to keep going up. Mm -hmm. But that event as a whole was just, it was just crazy. So you think like that was probably the event. I mean, it's like, it was kind of like the 100K. Like you had the 100K on the cruise and then you had this event. So like that was, that was a moment like you kind of feel like you stopped and you're like, all right, this is it. Like this yeah, like this right here is what I'm working for. I got to keep doing this. So. Yeah. so do you, you know, have you, you are, I mean, you're at a level where it's people can literally only dream to be there. So like, yeah, do great. you, do you ever have certain people, like, do you ever talk to people? Like, um, I don't want to say, I don't say like mentor to some people, like when people try to reach out and stuff like that, like what are some, how about this? What are some, what are some words of advice 
as, as, as kind of like we wrap up, what are some words of advice to people who either want to get into TikTok, want to, um, of course, yes, it's being good for, you know, to be famous, but like, there has to be a goal. Like for you, you just said, like, you blew up, but it's not you just didn't blow up. Like, you're taking care of yourself financially, like you're, you're working with companies, like you're, you're being a business man. So like, what are some words of advice for these people who want to get into social media or they want to like start something, they want to start a little business or, or they want to like start working out more, right? So like, what are some words of advice for those people who kind of think they can't do it? Uh, one of them, don't be afraid to reach out for help because like my brother is a big part of my help. So like, he's been helping me a ton, but don't be afraid to like reach out to like, let's say, I say like other people or like you see somebody like doing the same thing as you don't be afraid to like reach out for tips and stuff because it can only benefit like y'all could trade tips or something it only right. like benefits both of you and then like i guess like don't care or well not necessarily don't care what other people think like i just take the good stuff from it i guess because mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. when i first hopped on music people were like what you use musically that's the little kids have all this and now they're like they're like yo this dude was actually on this app and blew up and stuff so like they were like, they would make fun. I was like, yeah, go ahead. Keep making fun and stuff. Like, exactly. I'm, I'm just working in the dark. I'm working in the shadows. Exactly. So, yeah, just take the good stuff from what people, like, not necessarily don't, like, don't, like, reflect criticism, but, like, take it in and then, like, learn from it. Mm -hmm. But if it's just, like, negative, just don't even, don't even bother with it. Because I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to stay on positive vibes. Like, I don't, like, a whole bunch of people on social media have, like, beef. <laughs> They like start beef and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And I'm just like I'm just watching them I'm like, what's the point of that? Like Thank you. Okay, you'll get like a little bit of clout from beef, but like you just starting up a whole issue. I'm like, exactly. I'm just I'm just like staying out of that completely, just trying to stay positive. It's contagious too. Bring people in to enjoy their time. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. most definitely dangerous too. Yeah. It's it's always like contagious when it's like, you know, when you walk into a room, people think it's a woo, but like you walk into a room and you're just like, ah and you can feel that like I don't want to say like negativity or like when you walk into a room and everybody's like, I'm pretty sure that's probably how it was at when you're in LA and like you walk in, people are like, yo, Dev, let's go do a bit, da 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 da. And you're just like, whoa. It's like that like <laughs> influx of like, so you mean you want to do what I'm doing too? <laughs> so, um, like, yo, okay. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, I got two more, two more questions. Um, this one is kind of the whole podcast is called like Influence to Influence, Influenced to Influence. So, who, or what influenced you to start influencing others and why? Who or what? Let's see. Probably like, well, my brother is like, it's like a person, like a role model. Cause I'm at like 2.6 million followers right now, but he's at like seven, 8 million. Mm -hmm. And then I just started my YouTube. So I'm at like 29,000 and he's over there like 1.16 million or something like that. Hey. So Oh, I thought somebody walked in my door. No. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, my brother's a huge role model. And then I can remember that very first time when somebody was like, I started getting mad, or comments. I was like, yo, this made my day. And I started getting DMs from like wow. a whole bunch of fans. They were like, yo, this made my day. Keep doing it. Like, you're the reason, like, here's a video I have to look forward to after school and whatnot. Because, like, wow. I remember before, like, social media, I would always come home. I'll hop on YouTube, watch some videos of, like, Van Os Gaming and stuff. Because, uh -huh. like, I watch them play video games and just enjoy my time. Because I actually be laughing out loud when watching these videos. Uh -huh. So, like, that will be something I was definitely looking forward to after school. But just, like, being in the position like they were. Like, I used to watch them and they used to make my day. Like, and now I'm in that position. That's just, like. Uh -huh. like that's just like i gotta keep going to help the public and stuff because like they're enjoying it and stuff so exactly. i'm having a positive effect on their lives mm -hmm. and being their role models so right and man it's crazy like i again like you said you have how many followers again on on uh, tiktok 2.6 million and then how many how many all together do you think you have like on all your social media put together all my social media yeah um, i think it'll still be like 2.7 maybe because like instagram i got like 44k and uh -huh. then and then youtube i got 29 because i just recently started but i'm mm -hmm. trying to learn i'm trying to get consistent on that because youtube i haven't been consistent at all yeah youtube is a beast itself man yeah, yeah. i post like maybe like once every month so far <laughs> 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 editing and just keep yeah. it out with crazy man and like I, I know you don't downplay it but it's you have 2.7 million people mm -hmm 
and I'm pretty sure you reach because for people who may not know social media, you have of course the people that you're reaching, impressions, clicks, etc., website views. So there's majority even double of that. Like the fact that you are reaching two point seven, two point six, two point what, what it's gonna be ten soon. The fact that you're reading over a million people, like, dude, like that. I, I mean, I know you're like, congratulate yourself, but like, dude, that is that is amazing. Like, like, I, and I know for some people, it's like, they may think of yourself and oh, like he's so egotistical, saying he has two point seven. Like, dude, no, like, understand that he has two point six, two point seven million people who depend on him to make to give them value. Like, he's making. He's not just making. These like the videos at the end of the day, they're for people who don't have someone like you, right? Like they or they don't have a brother. So there's some people who they go to school, they get made fun of, they come home, they can't relate to anyone. But when they see your videos about like the mom or about, about trunks or about you hooping or about the Air Force Ones, like you give them that ability to like do that. So like man, I just want to say thank you for for first of all, like taking that because it's scary. You you're you're going to a place where it's like there's there's you know this route of everything that everybody's doing, but then there's like this route of what you're doing and you have no idea where it goes. So like, I just want to say thank you for even starting that. Cause that, that honestly inspires me. Cause like, I, I try, I, I look at everybody, like one of my mentors I was talking to, like the group that I got in, dude is, he just turned 20 in February. He does about 80 K a month profit from, from his agency. And then he teaches, he teaches people to start agencies and he does 150 K with that. And then he has his own clothing line, but then his, the money that he gets from the, the teaching business, he donates that to build school. And this dude is a high school dropout. He teaches, uh-huh. exactly. So, wrong. exactly. So he, he builds, he's built seven schools in Nepal through his money. So like now over a thousand kids get to go to school and he retired his mom. Like, Jeez. to me, that's the definition of like that's bossing up. Like, right exactly. So. I, I honestly look at everyone. It doesn't matter if you have a million, et cetera. Like I just look at people who sometimes they don't even do, do what I'm doing, but it's just to find out like, man, you are so comfortable. Like for example, yourself, one thing that I love about you, man, you're just comfortable in who you are. And again, you don't, you care enough that you don't care what people think because you just want to show exactly here. So I, again, man, I, I know I'm just kind of going on about you, but I just want to say appreciate you, man. And that, that, that really do, do means a lot. Um, Lastly, man, just tell us, tell us what's next. I know you can't, there's probably some plans coming up soon. I, I know you're probably scheming, probably have something right down the a little draw board coming up. So just tell us what's next, what people can look forward to. What's next? Well, other than this, you know, the basic drop of videos, uh-huh. probably, I'm probably going to try to start working on like, I'm going to try working on planned out stuff more for mm-hmm. me personally. Because... Mm-hmm. Well, they they blow up in the first place. Like you could tell, cause like the stuff I actually plan out on my page, like that does numbers and stuff. Oh. And then you could tell my brother, cause like that's basically all he posts, like planned out things. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'm gonna start working on planned out stuff more, and then I'm gonna just try. Let's see, getting in the current, I guess for like, for like blowing up and getting more fans and all that to try and make it to the top. And uh, mm-hmm. well, yeah. Other than that. Can't give you all the secret sauce, so I'm, I'm yeah. gonna keep some of it in the in the dash. Yeah, yeah, come on now, you gotta, you can't, can't, can't leak it now. Exactly, can't leak it. You gotta turn a little bit to go. <laughs> but um, yeah, man, so I'm gonna put it in the. So this will be out on today's the twentieth. What I'm gonna do is I'm uploading hers today, and I have another one that I'm uploading tomorrow, and then yours next week. So what I'll do for yours is. I'll chop up some Instagram clips, like two or three, because you dropped you dropped a lot of bombs. So I'll chop up some Instagram clips. I may drop yours early. Honestly, for me, I'm just dropping yours early. But um, man, where can people find you? Again, all this will be in like the description on YouTube, SoundCloud, Pos- uh, what is it called? Podcast on Apple Music, Google Play. So where can people find you so they can keep up with you? You can find me on TikTok and Instagram at Devin period known, Devin dot mm-hmm. known. Mm-hmm. And then on Snapchat, it's it's Devin known. Gotcha, so, yeah. gotcha. And then on uh, YouTube, what is it? YouTube, I have two accounts. One's called Z Breezy, but it's like Z B R E E Z I I. And gotcha. then my other account where I'm just posting like compilations of my TikToks and stuff, and like maybe some challenges. Mm-hmm. That will be Devin known. So yeah. Perfect, perfect, man. All right, man. Before we sign off, take a little quick pick. Oh, oh, going smile. I've seen you in forever, bro. Exactly. It's going to smile out for him. Boom. All right, man. And that's it.
look out for them. Let me 